Broadway is back to celebrate. Feinstein's 54 Below continues its tradition of bringing concert length performances from some of the theater's biggest names. So it's called the Diamond Series. It's starting tomorrow. Laura Benanti making her return to the stage. She's a Tony Award winning actress. Uh, she started in 11 Broadway shows. Her TV career includes roles on Gossip Girl, Younger, Nashville, Supergirl, Nurse Jackie. And then just last year, she released her debut album. So please welcome the underachiever, Laura Benanti. <laughs> Laura, good to see you. How you doing? Nice to see you as well. My goodness. Uh, so we were just chatting in the commercial break. So happy to see Broadway back, right? And rebounding after yes. last year and a half. What does it mean for you personally, though? I know you, you were an audience member, but now to once again be able to perform. I mean, the only thing I can liken it to is like losing a limb. You know, yeah. I felt like part of me was gone. Um, and to be able to perform live for people again, um, it's indescribable. Words really fail. Um, it's all I ever wanted to be, you know, when I was a little girl. I only ever wanted to be on Broadway. And I've had such amazing opportunities to do TV and film and yeah. all these other things. But, you know, my heart is really on the stage. So I cannot wait to revisit it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's something about that reaction to see it happening live as opposed to you know being behind a, or in front of a camera right yeah i mean it's that it's it's that human interaction yeah. mm -hmm. you know it's like the audience becomes another character or in this case i'm just myself you right. know i'm myself talking to the audience and then breaking into song in character but i really just want people to feel like they're in my living room and i'm just like right. singing to them and telling them stories yeah That's I, mean, all I, I was at six on friday and i gotta say like the audience was just electric and it was i've been to a lot of broadway shows it just felt different this time because i think everybody's yeah. been craving this so for you what do, what do yes. you what will you be doing in this specific show at feinstein's 54 below well i released my album during the pandemic so i didn't have a chance to support it so this will be my first time really like singing my album. Oh wow! Oh, there she is. My mom hates that cover. Why? She's like, it's too sexy. When, oh, she thinks okay, it's too okay, sexy. I get it. When, I get it. As a mom of a girl, when she sent it to my 97-year-old grandma, she took out the cover. <laughs> <laughs> she just sent the disc. Just the disc. Um, just the disc. But this um, is. Like, but yeah, I'm going to be singing that for the first time, and I'm really excited. But this is your first album. Your fans are like, finally, finally. Tell us a little bit about that project. Well, I have a live album that I did at Feinstein's mm -hmm. 54 Below many years ago, 2013, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but this was my first studio album because I have such a wide range of music that I enjoy. It was really hard for me to narrow down what I wanted the album to be. Yeah. Um, so in working with the produ producer, Matt Pearson, and the arranger, Gil Goldstein, we put together over 100 years mm -hmm. worth of music, ranging from Selena Gomez to Michelle oh, Lebron. Wow. Wow. Um, but it's all in a style, like a jazz style, so it feels really fluid. Yeah. Um, and it really does show how, you know, although music, of course, evolves and changes, at the root of it, it's, you know, it's kind of the same. Yeah. You're yeah. making it timeless. Absolutely. You know, Thank and, you. And, and we were talking about everything you've been involved in because you've just been in a lot lately, right? And and, and hats off to you. I mean, a round of applause, by the way, for everything yes. you've been doing. But Thank Worth, you. Thank you. Worth is a movie that's now on Netflix, a movie that you were just in. Uh, it was released last month. Tell me a little bit about it. So Worth is about is about the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund, um, and it's starring Michael Keaton and Stanley Tucci and Amy Ryan, and I had the honor of playing um, the widow of a 9-11 firefighter who lost his life. Um, it's a beautiful film. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. Um, Sarah Colangelo is the director, and it's just, you know, I, I, I know it seems like a dark subject matter, but it is very uplifting, actually. I saw um, it. So if people want to stream, oh, you did? Yeah. I, 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 you're, I think what you're saying, I was one, one of those things where I was going into it being like, okay, I'm going to be emotionally prepared. And yes, it's emotional, yeah. but you're right. There is a very uplifting whole spirit to, especially his character too. And by the way, your accent, you had like this very nice uh, Queens, was it Queens <laughs> or Brooklyn? Yeah, it was, um, it was Staten Island. Staten Island, okay. Staten yeah. Island. You know, in that yeah. scene that you, your very first scene with Michael Keaton, it was so, so real to me. Did you ever get lost in that character? Because it was so unbelievably believable. Yeah, I mean, I definitely did get lost in that yeah. character for sure. Um, you know, something, I think all of the actors felt a tremendous sense of responsibility yeah. um, in, in portraying these people. 
Um, and it was easy to sort of get lost in, um, in the feeling of it. And I'm so grateful to hear you say that. Thank you so much. That, as actors, that's all we want is mm -hmm. for people to forget that we're acting. Yeah, yeah. Um, and speaking of Netflix, by the way, um, you're in another release that's coming in November. The film adaptation. Are you ready, everybody? Tick, tick, boom. boom. What? Directed by Lynn manuel Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Uh, so what was that experience like? Lynn is the best person. <laughs> like, period. He's just wonderful. He is warm and loving. I mean, he still lives in the Heights. Like, he still has his friends from high school. He has not forgotten who he is. He is a superstar, and yet he acts the same as he always yeah. has. And he loves musical theater, and he loves Broadway so much, and he's actually made it cool. He's yeah. the first yes. person in the history of the world to make musical theater cool. So we are all so grateful. Well, you made it cool. Being... Oh, say it again? You made it cool. Oh, well, thank you. But he made it very cool. <laughs> so it was just an honor to be on that set, and it's so fun. You know, yeah. he makes everything fun. Yeah, and, and if, as if you weren't busy enough, you also released a book during the pandemic? Like I, I did. Said, underachiever here. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's called M is for Mama and also Merlot. I wrote it with yeah. my friend Kate Monziamelli, who is a, a soprano at the Metropolitan Opera. And she and I met in our neighborhood, and when we had, like, little newborn babies who were both colicky, oh. and we were like, what are we doing? And everything we were reading felt so um, polarized. It was either like motherhood is like floating in a field of flowers, <laughs> or like I hate my kid, drink all the wine every single day. And we were like, there has to be an in between. Yeah. So we wrote this book, which is based on like all children's books, which is like A is for apple, B is for banana. Right. Oh, yeah. um, and ours was like D is for diapers. <laughs> um, and you know, moms have what five seconds when we're exactly. like pooping while holding a person on our lap. Yep. So we thought, let's just bring a little joy for the yeah. few minutes that a mom has. Oh, I love that as a mom awesome. of two. Thanks. So I totally can relate, Laura. Yeah. Laura, I love, by the way, I just love that you sent your grandmother the disc. Like, when you said disc, I'm like, who, who's, who buys discs? My grandma. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I know. So. I know. Oh, gosh. She needs, the, she needs the actual CD, right? She needs it. And my I just gosh. love that my mom was like, we'll just take out the right. cover. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mamu doesn't need to see that, that oh. leg. My gosh, what a joy to talk to you. Thank you for being here this morning. Me too. Thank and you so, so much for having me. Yeah, we're so glad we're going to be able to hear your voice again. Your show in is the city. tomorrow till the 10th, right? Yes, exactly. The, um, the 5th through the 10th, 8.30 p.m. is the show. The dinner begins, doors open at 5.30 okay. um, at Feinstein's 54 Below. All right. All right. Break Laura a leg. Benanti. We love Thanks you. So Thank much. you. Thank you. Thank you.